Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to use the GPG public and private keys in order to encrypt and decrypt files. So are you ready? Let's get started. So in my last video I used actually OpenSSL in order to generate a key pair of private and uh, public keys in order to encrypt and decrypt files but we can use also another program called gpg for using some functions actually gpg stands for the gnu privacy guard so we can use that tool or this command line in order to actually generate the keys and encrypt and decrypt our files so let's begin so first thing first we type gpg then minus minus version just to see which version we are using so as you can see here we are using version one you can see also the supported algorithms which are for the public key which are rsa and dsa or the ciphers also so you have is 256 three days also you can see the famous hashes that we can use mt5 and sha1 okay so let's begin let me first clear the terminal so the first thing to do is actually to generate the key pair i mean the private and public keys so we type gpg then minus minus generate then the key okay so here I have a couple of questions that I have to answer, but I will go with the default. So the first question here is what kind of key you want? So I want just RSA key. So I will choose number one. Okay. So here, the second question, RS key may be between 1024 and 496 bit long. So which one I'm gonna use, I'm gonna stick with the default. So all I have to do is to type enter. Third question, how long the key should be valid? So I will choose the default, which means the key does not expire. Okay. Is this correct? I will answer yes. Here we go. Now we have to provide a user ID to identify your key. So here I will type a name. Aminos Nina, for example. I have also to provide an email address so I can provide mine Christopher F. Green, which is a hotmail address. Okay, and for the comment, I can leave it empty. So here I have the chance to change the name, the comment, or the email. But I will stick with the one I have entered, so I will answer OK. Oh, and this is an important uh, actually uh, section here. We have to enter a passphrase in order to protect our secret key. So I will choose the password as my passphrase. I have to repeat it. Here we go. Now we have actually in order to generate a lot of random bytes, it's a good idea to perform some actions, type on the keyboard or utilize your mouse. So let me open the file that I'm going to encrypt. So as you can see here on my desktop, I have a file called sample.sql. So let me open it just to see what's inside. As you can see, it's just a bunch of SQL statements. Actually, it's a create SQL statement for a database. Okay. So this is the file that we'll be using in order to encrypt. Okay. So let's me close this one here. Sometimes you will get this message here, like here, not enough random bytes available. Please do some more stuff on your system. So here is the final step. You can see that we have actually generated the pair keys. Okay. 
So now you have all the keys needed in order to start encrypting and decrypting files. So in order to encrypt the file as shown here on my desktop, it's pretty easy. You have to tap GPG minus E for encryption and minus R. And we have to provide actually the email address that you have previously entered. So Christopher F Green at Hotmail dot com okay then finally you provide the file you want to encrypt which is sample.sql actually I'm not on my desktop I'm on my home directory so first I have to go to my desktop here we go let me clear the terminal now we can type the command gpg minus e minus r minus e minus r Christopher F Green I have to make sure that they have written it correctly Christopher fgreenhotmail.com and now I can provide the name of the file that I want to encrypt and I tap enter as you can see on my desktop the file has been created so let's open it using for example sublime text Here we go, you see clearly it's encrypted. It actually contains a bunch of files, not files, but letters and numbers because it's encrypted. So the final step is actually to decrypt this file that was encrypted using the public key. So in order to, to, to decrypt the file, we also used GPG command, but this time, as an input minus O for input I can specify whatever name I want so for example I'll just uh, call it sample.txt because it will be just a SQL statement and minus D for decrypt and the file that we want to decrypt which is sample.sql.gpg of course you need a passphrase that we have entered previously for this user ID which is password here we go now you can see on my desktop the file has been generated in clear text so let's open it using sublime text And effectively, I have actually decrypted my file previously corrupted with public key. So these are the three steps needed in order to encrypt and decrypt files using the public key and private key generated using the GNU privacy guard. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.